Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank my colleague for yielding me this time. I rise in favor of SJ Res 38 to rescind the Biden administration's careless rule which waives Buy America requirements for federally funded EV charging infrastructure projects. Instead of abandoning this crackpot environmental project that has wasted billions of taxpayer dollars with no tangible benefit, the Biden administration is now doubling down, waiving the Buy America requirements in a desperate attempt to save the floundering EV industry. Under this change, hard-earned taxpayer dollars will not be only wasted on useless charging infrastructure. No, now these funds will be squandered on useless charging infrastructure produced from foreign materials. Meanwhile, China continues to maintain an outsized hold on EV manufacturing and the critical materials required to construct them. In other words, rather than invest in domestic energy resources and infrastructure, the Biden administration will prop up a failed industry whose entire existence is dependent upon government subsidies while increasing our reliance on China and other adversarial nations. These actions will force millions of more Americans into a state of energy poverty and undermine American sovereignty, all to kowtow before the climate gods. Mr. Speaker, we must resist the Biden administration's forceful attempts to transition us to an electric future, whatever that means, while also advocating for solutions that empower America to restore its energy and manufacturing independence. It is for these reasons that I sought to defund one of these useless EV programs through an amendment amid our appropriations process. The fact is that this rule is wrong-headed at the wrong time and should not be implemented. I urge my colleagues to support this resolution and I yield back.